Good afternoon, Vietnam, baby. Oh, man, we're back. Some people thought we weren't streaming. Nope, we're streaming mods assemble. It's time to pump the shit up. Let's go. We're pumping to $7 closing today. Mod number 6,500,045.27. Check it in. Good. I want all my mods ready to pump. Assemble the freaking mods. Avengers. Assemble. Mods. Assemble. Yes, everybody. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Did I really make Mixing Score a super mod? <clears throat> uh, no. I was going to do a dumb joke, but I, I stopped myself, luckily. As if you need any more cringe. All right, so right now we're at 651, baby. There's not really any news at all. Basically, <laughs> um, <laughs> Mason Skull reminds me of Randall from Recess and Brandon is a teacher. There's not really any news today. Actually, no, what am I talking about? There is news. There's substantial news today. We have five shares in total by Grady Investments LLC, baby. The day is freaking safe. Look at this. Five shares. <laughs> legit that is legit baby let's hold on hold on let's give it let's give it the stamp of approval right there that is totally legit right there oh that's the worst i have ever seen oh my gosh beautiful baby when you can't when it's a red day you gotta be laughing or you're crying baby you guys know what i mean all too well right everybody <laughs> Oh, 876,000, 8,675,309 here. has my has got my number. Freaking legend. Thank you for reporting the duty. I need all my mods coming in. All my mods checking in. We're pumping this shit to $7, my friends. I'm messing around. If there's anyone new here, if, the, if there was ever the slight chance of somebody new coming to the channel, I'm fucking messing around. <laughs> all right, I saw a comment. I saw a comment over the weekend that says Brandon is too emotional. I don't know if he's really long-term or not. Okay, yes, I am legit long-term. I don't care if we go down with the ship. I if, we, if we go down, I'm going down with the ship. If we go up, I'm holding, right? I'm holding for years. Simple as it gets. No one believed me when I said BNGO was going to be 100% of the portfolio. Here we are, bitch. It's 100%. Take that. Ah! <laughs> Is this ever going to do anything or we just take our losses? With that attitude, you might want to, but no, I don't think, I, I think, uh, Absolutely not. I think today is today is is high growth getting killed again. Like if you if you want to sell BNGO because high growth is going down, you just don't have a chance. You you just don't have a chance. What the hell is going on with uh, Virgin Galactic today? Holy crap! Whoo! What happened with that man? MMAT is getting killed even more. Holy crap! I'm just now looking at this. what's what's AMC doing. AMC is getting killed as well. Damn. What's Bitcoin doing? Ooh, man, there's carnage in the markets today, baby. Clover's doing well. That's weird. Anyways, for BNGO, baby, what do we have tomorrow? What do we have tomorrow? My mods, tell everybody. If, if I, it, it, Well, whatever. I'm going to tell it anyway. I don't know why I said that. But we have the CEO, baby. The CEO himself. The legend Eric is going to save us, bro. I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to save us. But I think he's maybe going to drop something new. Tomorrow may be the day. That is true. That's, as Vir Virgin, they had an offering. Oh, oh man, that's rough. That's rough. I bought those share to help you pump it. <laughs> Sell 1,000 to dump it. <laughs> oh, man. I'm selling right now because I want to pay $40 in a year. Because I want to pay $40 in a year, I'll buy again. What? Okay. All right. Have fun. Great. It was swing trading the $35 of share value. <laughs> yeah, we have substantial breaking news. Everybody, breaking news today. We have a new institution. Five shares. That's right. Five. Actually, not five. Five million, baby. Yeah. Five infinite zeros. Yeah. And remember, these are the numbers are in thousands, right? So if it's if it's one hundred eleven thousand, well, actually, no, these are actually no, these are not in, uh, hundred uh, not thousands. What am I talking about? That's a that's hundred thousand. So yeah, we just got to keep going. Zero zero zero. Boom boom boom. Yes. I am the CEO. Eric is my daughter. He's going to talk about how the Sapphire is changing their name to Sapphire. That's legit. Confirmed. Confirmed. 652 right now, baby. The goal is for the mods to assemble and get this shit up to $7 by the close. All right, I'm messing around. All right, that's enough. My software shows Bitcoin has an 83% chance of going to of to hit $35,000 tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But I kind of killed it if, it if it was heavily shorted. Tomorrow, there's the inflation data. It's If it's bad, will be a sell-off, and BNJO can go down now. Just saying, yeah, of course. Inflation, that's why I'm not... That's why... Uh, Inflation and the government is why I haven't added all my shares. Yeah, there is always a big risk. There always is a big risk of the of uh, 
of problems and problems going to instigate of, of things instigating the market crash or correction. There's always problems like that. Yeah. Tomorrow's the course CPI. Jeez. That's scary. Yeah. That's scary. That's scary. Uh, <laughs> we'll see what that is. We'll see what that comes out to be. Luckily the rest of the week, we don't have that much though. looks like whatever. Even if the course CPI is bad, the fed will be like, well, if you look at this other statistic, inflation is actually like nothing. So we're all good to go. Let's pump the markets, which is what we want, right? At the end of the day, I mean, I guess it just depends on what your philosophy is. But short term for BNGO, we definitely want the Fed to just pull another metric out of their ass and say, hey, there's no inflation, right? That's what we want. <laughs> All right. Lots of puts expiring on the 16th. Oh, uh, yeah. What do you call it? Yeah, we actually did get... Oh, that reminds me. We actually do. Technically, we do have news, right? This is... we did. The, besides this shit news right here, if you can call it news, right? We actually had this. Uh, this unusual options alert. And if we go right here... The sentiment is bullish on B and Joe. It's a put. It's a it's a it's a it's a trade type, and it's bullish. I guess I'm not an expert on options, so I'm not really going to try to explain that to you in simpler language. So I'm just going to leave it right there. But that is news, and uh, you know it's bullish. So self explanatory, right? Good to see puts printing. <laughs> Why is Stephen Roberts a mod? Uh, I think he's been here for a while. Has he not been here for a while? I don't know. You tell me. Feels like this is going to be a long week. <laughs> it could be. <laughs> Wait, was Steven Roberts a bear? Was he? I could be wrong. I'll remove him if he was a bear. <laughs> you tell me. I don't know. I modded so many people yesterday, uh, this morning and last week. <laughs> 40 he was a bear. Okay. Let me oh, he was a bear. All right. I'll remove him, I guess. Well, he hasn't said anything dumb so far, though. I don't know. Brandon, you make a bear a mod. <laughs> Damn it, I made a bear a mod. Damn it. I didn't mean to do that. I saw Steven Roberts. He wasn't being bearish earlier. When was I a bear on BNG? All right, I'll tell you what. Since he's denying, I'll tell you what. Next, if, if Steven Roberts becomes a bear, I'll demod him. I'll remove him. Until I'll give him a chance. Well, most times that options activity is the opposite of what they say because the market makers take the opposite side of those trades. Everybody's a mod. Yeah, honestly. Steven Roberts, you're on thin ice. <laughs> Oh man, six fifty right now. The goal for today is to close above seven dollars. All right, not really. That's unrealistic. We got twelve minutes left. I mean, hopefully, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter. As I said, it doesn't really matter where we close at six fifty, six forty, six sixty. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, this right here, this prediction, how accurate my prediction is, and what happens tomorrow with this. And yes, we're gonna be streaming that. That's gonna be after the market closes. It's gonna be a fun time. Hopefully, hopefully, it's not as boring as the last one, man. That last one was boring as heck. Hopefully he takes questions. Hopefully I can get on there and ask the questions. Hopefully, yeah. My camera. I'll enter the matrix, right? You guys know when you, you guys know when I enter the matrix when it's like, uh, when it's like this, uh, you know, like that matrix action going on. I'll have to enter the matrix for a little while. But I can call. Hopefully, if they take questions, I don't know if they will. They probably. It's probably a pre-recorded thing. It almost always is. Anyways, yeah. Hopefully that. Hopefully there'll be something good there. Hopefully course orders will be good if they are. I mean, even if they are, whatever they are, that's what's gonna matter in the next few weeks, mostly. I have over 1K in BNGO and keep averaging up 603 from average from 570. More shares than Boomstick, probably. <laughs> cat fighting. All right. Everybody sell your shares to the banks for me. Thanks. Like SCNS? I don't know. What time is Eric going on? All right. So basically, Brandon, I was told uh, BNGO would go up. Well, let me tell you something. If anyone is predicting, even me, okay, if anyone's if anyone's telling you for sure where a stock's going to go, you know that's bullshit because no one knows for sure what's going to happen. We can just predict. And my prediction is, you know, $8, $9 on earnings. That's my prediction. You know, I mean, it's not it's not like a clear prediction, but I just think earnings are going to be good, to be honest with you, right? And if we look at the, if we look at the document here, you can see my numbers. I'm looking at I'm looking at my base case at four million. This is what I think is going to happen: four to four point four million. Simple as it gets, right? Now, if we were to get that, likely going up twenty to fifty percent, that would put you at a valuation of around eight dollars over two billion market cap. That's what we're looking at. That's what I think is likely to happen. I could be way off, right? Remember, I could be. I mean. <laughs> I could be. I don't know. I've done the research. I've done a lot. I've done. You know. I've put together more links on the Savage options than anyone else has ever done that I've ever seen, and no one has added any. Please, somebody add more Savage options if you know of any. But we already know about thirteen. And that's more than any other quarter in history before an earnings report. Any any. That's a fact for being Joe. Fact. Six fifty four right now. They just broke the previous high, not the intraday high. That would be nice if I could say intraday high, right? We'd be green almost, right? That would be sweet. 
what date is earnings? All right, so earnings is going to be May or not. What the May? What the hell? Mid-August. All right. <laughs> Mid-August, my friends. Mid-August. All right. The 10 year inflation chart jumped a little. You know what? We got nine minutes till the. You know what? I don't think anyone cares about that, so I'm not going to look at that, but we've looked at that before. When's the Fed inflation thing? The core CPI data is tomorrow, it looks like. I'm not really, I'm honestly not really worried. I mean, if it sucks, it sucks. At the end of the day, I'll just add more if we, if we dump, if the market crashes. I'm just thinking, I'm just, my focus on BJ, you guys know this. 654 right now. Uh, B and Joe 10 years from here and 10 years will hit $250. Be patient. I think that's, I think that's very realistic. $250, 10 years. Very realistic. Absolutely. It all comes down to how many Sapphires we sell. And if we're still the number one thing and, and if people actually do switch over to us, like we've seen, that's what it comes down to, right? Because once we get the sales, you guys know what, if we look at the discount cash from our, well, you know, we got five, we got eh, the price action's boring, right? It's literally, we're just going one cent up, one cent down. It sucks. The price action sucks. Can we, let's put it back on the five minutes so we can pretend like we're not barcoding, right? If we look right here, this is what it is. This is the contingency right here. This, the units and sold sapphires, this, the company and your growth right there. That's what's going to determine it essentially. Also, the volume will have a good, uh, a, a very... A very significant effect, along with the nano nozzle, if that drops or not. Those things, lineage in, that'll help if they if they start expanding, right? That would be great. You know, but at the end of the day, if the sapphires installed are not going way higher of 63% CHR at least over the next decade, you know, we're not going to be doing, we're not going to be doing great, right? We need at least something, 50%, 60%, 80%, something above 50% at least. And, and, that'll, and that'll help us. That'll help us a lot. Super mod. <laughs> no, Macy Scar. Oh, man. Too funny. What would be something that would make this moon short term apart from earnings? Haven't heard anything about FDA either. All right. Uh, well, FDA approval, we don't actually know what exactly. Does, I mean, with the CCO or the CBO, I forgot which one it was. I think it was the CBO. But he, one of our recent hirings was with, he does have FDA approval experience with the other methods, fish care typing uh, and, uh, and um, CMA. But there is a chance that FDA approval has been already in the process. We're already in the process of getting that. There is a chance of that. Is it likely? I don't know. I'm not very sure. I mean, there's just no evidence to say that it's that they've already been working on it, you know? So, but yeah, maybe. What would make us moon short term? The only thing that would make us moon short term, I mean, I mean, there's a number of thing, I, things, I guess. All it takes, at the end of the day, all it takes is uh, an institution doing their research on BNGO and liking it, right? I mean, that, I feel like that could happen at any point, right? And then loading the boat. That's, I mean, that can happen at any time, obviously. But what would really make us move for sure is Wall Street bets, right? But, all right. Um, let's see here. Keep buying on the dips. The price will double right around earnings in your opinion. Oh, that's awesome. Double? Cool. Double? That's, Sharon, you think so? Eric is going on 30. Listen, all right, everybody. The, the, the Eric presentation tomorrow. Eric is talking 30 minutes after the close, right? So 4.30 Eastern. That's going to be 3.30 Central. That's 30 minutes after the market close. We're going to be streaming it. I'm sure we'll be going on for hours tomorrow, right? I mean, I'm hoping. Okay, I'm hoping tomorrow's a green day. And I'm hoping that we can. And I think it will be. But, hey, hey, you guys make your own opinions. I think tomorrow will be pretty good. Or or it could suck ass and, and CPI data could could screw everybody over, right? Either way, it's going to be fun. It's going to, it's going to be a fun time. We're going to suffer together or we're going to have a, or we're going to have a green day together. New hires are great, but I learned 34 years ago it doesn't really matter unless they can execute. Many small companies hire executives from from uh, from big profile companies only to have the company go no nowhere. Sure, sure. Can't deny it's still a good step in the right direction, though. Diamond bowls, diamond hands, possibility nothing happens. Uh, well, it doesn't matter what happens because the diamond hands and the diamond bowlers were just diamond handed it, man. I mean, the mods, uh, everybody gave, we're, our hair is just going to get way longer. At what, and we're gonna be saving money on on no haircuts, right? We're gonna be saving money not getting haircuts and throwing it back into BGO, right? Regardless of what happens. So <laughs> I think Eric will drop the nano nozzle tomorrow. Whew, just imagine that. Just imagine if they if he just comes out at the end with a slide. Can we just dream for a little bit? Can a man dream? Dro last slide nano nozzle commercial release, and then he's just like, and then they just, he just leaves it there and then just stares at the camera. And then it just ends. <laughs> that would be so. Would that be so sick? 
Oh, man. Boom, baby, up 50%, up 100%. I mean, but it would be good if he could tell us the details, right? What actually does it do? Does it do single base pairs? What the hell does it do, you know? All right, did anyone hear about Wells Fargo shutting down all their personal line of credits? Yeah, I heard of, I heard a little bit of that. People have been talking about that. Last time they did it was before the 08 recession. Yeah, man, I mean, to be honest with you, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm not because of that, but I mean, I guess a little, but not, not really, but I'm scared as hell for the, for not this. Why am I highlighting this for the NASDAQ and the markets and everything I'm scared, but Hey, Hey, here's the facts for you. Yeah. The markets can crash. And here, here's the fact though: every single crash in history buy the dip. Okay. You do not want to sell during a more crash. And here's another fact for you. Even if we do crash, I don't think bio nano and I don't think high growth is going to get hit as hard as some people think. And the reason for that is the rubber band effect, right? We've already, the, the high growth sector is already literally just, the high growth sector just get, has gotten, it's still on fire, right? We've been on fire. Like literally we've been in a garbage can flaming and going up in flames and being on fire for like months since February, right? We've just been falling and now we're kind of going up and down sideways. It's just death and carnage. And if the market's already gone way up, and now they're going to go down a little bit. It's like, well, high growth can go down a little bit, but they cannot continue to free fall. And the reason is, I've already explained the reason. The rubber band effect is why. Last slide, Brandon playing guitar and his pick is Nan Nozzle. <laughs> I'm sorry about the audio, by the way. I finally watched. I needed to do this earlier. I'm sorry for the freaking guitar audio. I'm never going to play guitar live again until I figure out how to get the audio freaking decent, at least. Like, God, I, I, oh, man. Can you invite Eric to this chat? Tell him we need this baby to pop. I wish it was so easy, my friend. At the end of the day, I don't really want Eric. At the end of the day, though, it's kind of like, yeah, it would be great if he could coddle us shareholders and tell us something great, or, or better yet, drop some news. But at the end of the day, we just want him to develop the company. We want him to do what he need, what he's doing. We want him to work. We want him to get the nail nozzle out and commercially released, and then tell us about it some of these days. Like, hopefully, he doesn't just go silent for three years, and then just one day, just, oh, we're releasing the nail nozzle commercially. We're selling it. We're getting sales right now. It's like, what the hell? Where was this two years ago when the price was $10? Like, what? <laughs> you know, you know, like, we want it now. I'm already firmly established as a super mod. I'm untouchable here. I'm a snitch for Brandon. I'll get all of you. Buys or sells at the close? I say buys. That's what Steve is saying. I say buys as well. Me too. I think I think it's gonna be buys. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. All right, we've got earnings coming up, and every unless you've been living under a rock the last five months, every I mean, pretty much everybody in the dog knows at this point. You know how inflate. You know how like a month ago we were saying everybody in the dog knows about how inflation is coming. We all know nowadays. Everyone in the dog knows that B and G earnings has a high chance of being great. Like higher. I mean. I, I challenge you to find a company that has a, a more auspicious earnings outlook for this quarter. Like, ch good luck. I mean, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. And the reason why is because you won't find another company that has actually – you won't find anything else that you can track more sales before this earnings than you had in total the last earnings. It's impossible, essentially, right? We already know about 13 of these. And no, these are not 100% all confirmed. Anyways, it's two minutes here. I'll go back to the chart here. Sorry. I'll go back to the chart here. It looks like we're going to close about 650, 650 range. But um, but what was I talking about? It's very Everybody knows this. Also, we got the CEO presenting tomorrow. Everybody knows that as well. So I don't know. I just, yeah. All right. Will there be reporter questions after Eric talks? Probably not. I could be wrong, though, because the last presentation, I don't think he did take questions. I don't know. Brandon, did you read the new tweet of being show the COVID thing? Let's go check it real quick. Let's go refresh it real quick. Yeah, we already read that. That's not new. 350000 apiece. 10 confirmed equals 3500000 million. They're not all 350000 apiece, though. They start, according to the website, the Sapphires start at 150000 and then they, and then I think it says it goes up from there or something that you can talk about it. You know, you can negotiate it from there. So I don't know. The Sapphire machine is not for sequencing, but in addition to it, it makes me think this machine will be used more for academic research purposes. Well, we've already been used in some, di technically, we're not supposed to be using diagnosis right now, but we've already been used in it. Also, for every sequencer, there should be a sapphire as well for the fact being, okay, there's the close. And we've got buys at the close. All right. Uh, let's see here. Nothing substantial. Uh, 10,000, 20,000. Okay, so like what? Less than 150. 100 to 150,000 shares added at the close at 652. 
we'll take it. You know, it is what it is. <laughs> you know, nothing substantial. The volume is horrible. Again, barely got above nine million. Oh man. Oh man. Well, that is that's a day. Six fifty two close at six fifty two. But yeah, back to your thing there. You said uh what did you say? The sapphire, here's the thing. The reason why you need sapphire is not because it's for not because of academic research purposes. If, if you're using it, just think of it this way. For every sequencer out there, it can't do greater than five hundred base pair reads very well. Sapphire can, and it can do it better than any method, better than any other method in the world. And you, those reads are very important pretty, for pretty much almost everything. They're very important, and the sapphire does it the best in the world. And that's why we're going to get a ton of sales at the end of the day. All right. Uh, all right. So to recap, what we got for the day? There's no. I mean, this is the probably the most boring day for BNGO that we've had in a while. So I'm going to keep it short here for you today. Uh, basically, we have basically this is the only important thing, and this is not even news today. We already knew about this, right? CEOs. This is tomorrow. This is 30 minutes after the close tomorrow. Try to get on here. If you're going to watch a stream of ours, I would recommend maybe giving this a chance because there's, there is, I think there's a realistic chance that there is that he is going to drop something new here. I could be totally off and it could just be another boring company overview. Even if it is, it's still marketing. I'll still hear his optimism on the long-term outlook of Sapphire sales. He always does that essentially, at least to some degree. So that's going to be really interesting. We'll see how, how that happens. There was another tweet today. It was nothing new. There was a COVID thing. There's a filing for five shares, which if you actually look at the uh, the premium data here, yes, I do a premium. You're welcome, my friends. There's nothing new. They already own. They already had five shares as of as of uh, months ago, and now they're filing it again because Fintel likes to do that again. Whatever, it doesn't matter. But yeah, that, so that's five shares. That's cool. And then that's literally all the news. And then the short interest data. I mean, let's see if we got a new update here. It's nothing. I mean, it's like it's you know. <laughs> Take a look at this, by the way. Green muzzle. That's funny as hell. I saw that. I saw that. That's funny. But uh, the short interest is the same. So that's it. That's it, man. That's it on the day. Let's not forget that Quest and Illuminar are hanging out in our accounts receivable. Yeah, one and a half million or almost two million in our accounts receivable. Yeah. Yes, that can always that can always come through. Yep. Yep. All right. With that being said, Brandon, I'm being harassed. <laughs> not boring, man. It's discount time. Yeah, I agree. It is. Sue and Champagne after hours <laughs> tomorrow. Or Tomos is that? What do you mean Tomos? But I'll tell you what. I'll wear the suit tomorrow. Remind if I don't if I don't show up with the suit tomorrow on the market uh, closed stream. Remind me and I'll put the suit on because tomorrow is a special occasion, my friends. We have Eric himself, the man, the legend, the man, the myth, the legend, right? Eric Holm, the freaking god. He's gonna come in and save the price. Hopefully, not really make no decisions. I mean, he could do nothing new. I think there's a realistic chance. I don't know what the chances are. Maybe like, I don't know. Maybe like a forty percent chance that he says something new. I don't know, maybe a 30%, maybe 20%. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to say. Anyways, yeah, that's what I would say. Something like that. Seem like you're going to have Rapunzel hair. I know, yeah. You better wear that, you got <laughs> You better wear that suit, I know. The suit is good luck, isn't it? The good luck hat is not working anymore. I got to get the freaking good luck suit in here, man. That's why we've been going down. Oh my gosh, I just realized why we've been going down so much. Guys, I have not been wearing the shoe. The suit, the sh the shoot. The suit, I have not worn this in forever, and we've gone down from 912 all the way to 650, man. It's my fault, isn't it? So I will pop once, once they start selling LDTs like hotcakes, and major insurance companies endorse the profit margin of LDTs much higher than the staff itself. I buy ink for the print. Well, I'll tell you what, the consumables, we make much more money on the consumable sales than the Sapphire sales. That's damn sure. What are the chances it's a pre, pre, it's a pre recording like Alka's? That, uh, I would say, what are the, ch Jay is asking, what are the chances that this event right here is pre recorded, right? And not live? I would say probably like six, probably like eight, probably, I don't know, probably 70%, 70, 80%. Yeah. That's dumb. That's dumb how I did that, but whatever. Let's go. Look how good that look how good my writing is, guys. I am literate. <laughs> you can barely tell. You can barely read it. But uh but what was I talking about? So yeah, I, I think the last one was not pre the last one was pre recorded, I believe. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I I don't know. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, we just need one slide in here. Nano also commercial release, nano channel, nano port device, nano commercial release. That's all we need. And then boom, baby. But you know, that's 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 you know, that's probably not gonna happen at the end of the day, but Hey, you never know. A man can dream, right? A man can dream. But we had buys at the close. I guess that's probably the most substantial news for the day. But yeah, there's pretty much no news for today, guys. There's pretty much no news. So feel free to get out of here. Let's take last minute questions. Let's get out of here. I'll take an earnings day tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I would. I think there is a decent chance that they're going to... Here, let me do it since that's all we have to do, right? Since there's nothing going on with the price, I have to... Just, I'll give you a 50% chance 
for Eric releasing the earnings day tomorrow. 50%. Yep. Boom. <laughs> um, all day stream tomorrow. I'll tell you what. I would do an all day stream tomorrow if uh, if if the if we're green, maybe. Well, I don't know. <laughs> uh, all right, boys. Thank y'all so much, boys and girls, men and women. Thank you so much, guys and gals. Thank you so much. We're getting out of here. Thank y'all so much. There's nothing. There's no news today. There's no news. I feel like we got to end it right now because there's nothing to happen. Ben, you want to be a moderator? Too bad. You're gonna be one for sure. You don't even get to say. Boom. You're a mod, my friend. Ben. You're a mod. No, he doesn't release more than one news per day. Yeah, almost everybody is a mod. That's that's beautiful. That's absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> All right, Sharon. All right, Gil. Steven, thank you so much, guys. I hate goodbyes. I hate them too, my friend. Hopefully tomorrow's pre mark is nicer than today's uh, Today's open. Jeez, man. It was just free falling. We'll see. High growth could get killed. This could be the start of a market crash, or this could be the start of a pre-anticipatory run. Up to earnings, and the earnings comes in, and it's exactly like I think four to four point four million. Boom, eight dollars. Here we come, baby. Maybe that could happen. We'll see. It's gonna be a good time either way. It's gonna be. We're gonna have a good time either way. And with that being said, thank y'all so much. Thank y'all so much. <laughs> You'll need it when you have ten thousand viewers. Yeah, if that. Yeah, I'll tell you what. The only way we get that is if B and Joe starts freaking rocketing, which I, I, you know, you guys know what I think. You guys know what I think. But, but hey, we'll see. I'm going down the ship if we if we suck ass, but the, all the risk is on the table. I'm in. I'm in to win it, baby. Here we go. There's the whole portfolio. Uh, one hundred percent B and Joe. With that being said, thank y'all so much. We ride at to open tomorrow, fellowship. Yeah, we do. We ride at open tomorrow. Fellowship mods. No haircut to all time highs. With that being said, thank y'all so much. This is not financial advice. I will see every one of y'all, hopefully. In the next one. I missed the button. I missed the click. 